Allah is the mender of broken hearts. Time has passed since I got that most hated phone call, since I stood over Amr's body at the morgue and tried to memorize every feature of his face before I'd have to let him go. People wonder how I was able to hold myself together. They wonder why I haven't collapsed or given up hope in Allah or in the goodness of people. I don't have an explanation for myself, but the answer can be found in the story of Prophet Musa's mother in the Quran. She was instructed to place him in the water if she feared for his life at the hands of Pharaoh's army. And we inspired the mother of Musa, Suckle him, but when you fear for him, cast him into the river, and do not fear and do not grieve. Indeed, we will return him to you and will make him one of the messengers. I often wonder about what kind of strength she must have possessed when she placed her infant child in a basket and pushed him into the water without knowing where he would end up. She did one of the most difficult things a mother could do. She held herself together with the help and guidance of her Lord and watched him drift away. Musa was accepted into the house of Asiya, but he refused to breastfeed from any wet nurses. It was then that his sister, who had followed him, led Asiya to take Musa back to his mother. What was the purpose of Allah returning Musa to his mother? Musa could have breastfed from any woman without returning to his mother. If it were so, he could have still grown up to be the messenger of Allah, his righteousness intact, his journey and story still remarkable. But there was a reason that Musa had to come home to his mother. So we restored him to his mother that she might be content and not grieve, and she would know that the promise of Allah is true, but most of the people do not know. Allah returned Musa to his mother simply so that she wouldn't grieve, so that her heart would be at ease, and so that her faith would not waver. Allah cared about this woman. He mended her heart, not so that the course of history could change or some big momentous event could take place. He mended it because he is merciful and loving to the believers. He mended it so that when we read her story, we can know the extent of his love and mercy. That's all, and that is reason enough. Allah doesn't wish for the believers to grieve, and He wants them to know that His promise is true. I've lived it these past few years. Every time I was about to reach a breaking point in my despair, or to fall into the darkness of losing hope, I would receive some news that would lift my heart. Someone would have a beautiful dream about Amr. Someone would perform Amrah or establish some charity on his behalf. I would receive words of support from people I love and respect, or encounter some verses in the Qur'an that would take me by the hand and hold me steady. One day, after I had finished the Asr prayer, about eight months into my widowhood, tears were streaming down my cheeks, my heart was aching, and I didn't know how to rid myself of this immense pain. I raised my hands to ask Allah to help me be able to somehow visit His sacred house to come closer to Him, and for that to be a part of my healing. Before I was able to even make the dua, my phone rang. It was Amr's parents calling me to tell me they were just at the Kaaba, making dua for me to be able to visit it. I thought, how strange that this prayer has yet to come from my lips, and Allah has put the same prayer on the lips of people beloved to me in such a blessed place. My heart was lifted so much in that moment that the tears of sadness turned into tears of joy. None of these things are coincidences. None of these things happen because I'm particularly good or worthy. They happen because Allah cares about the hearts of His slaves. I know that He cares about me and about my daughter because I've lived in the realm of this immense mercy these past few years. Every ounce of pain was met with some inexplicable beauty and serenity that no human effort could produce. It was from Him. All of it. If you believe in Allah alone with no partners or intermediaries and you worship Him alone and you sacrifice that which you love in order to come closer to Him alone, you will see wonders in your life. Your difficulties will become blessings. Your heartaches will become healing. Your du'as will be answered in ways that you could have never imagined. He doesn't want you to grieve and He wants you to know that His promise to the believers is true. It's not any more complicated than that. It happened to me and it's still happening. <laughs>